Okay, so now what we need to do is when we fill in the form, we have our state hooked up to our React application. So when we fill in all the details and then we want to click Add Hotel, we want to send all of this information into our Firestore database as a new document. So we will do that now. If I go into my controller.ts file in here, I'm going to add a new document function. So going into here, I'm going to add a comment just underneath saying add a new hotel or add a new document to your Firestore database or your Firestore collection. So I'm going to export this function. So then what we can do is once we've exported the function, we can then call it in here. So I'm just going to name it add hotel and it would take in some sort of parameters in as well. So in my controller file, export const add hotel is equal to an async function, which will take in a single argument of hotel data. So that will be the data that we pass in from our form here. So we will get all of the use states from each individual input or drop down, and then we will pass that in here. So is equal to async hotel data and an arrow function in here. So for now, I'm just going to give the hotel data as any, and I'm going to declare a new constant. So const new hotel is equal to await. And then this is where we need to add our new document to Firestore. So await add doc, which again is tree shaking, and we only getting the add doc method from Firestore. So add doc. So as you can see here, we can we want to pass in the collection reference as the first argument and then the data as the second. So the collection reference is already specified, which is this hotel collection here. And then the second argument is going to be an object of the hotel data that we are receiving as an argument here. So we just want to spread that in here. And then this is new hotel. And what we want to do with new hotel is just console log and then I'll just paste that in here. Console log of new hotel was created at new hotel path. So with this new hotel now, we have a few methods that we can call on here. So we have the Firestore ID, parent path, and type, and other various methods. So I'm just going to use path, but this will be sufficient enough as well. So await add doc of whatever we pass in as the hotel's data and then that will add the document to the Firestore collection. So now all I need to do is, because I am exporting the add hotel, go into my create component and we need to import add hotel in here, which we are doing from the lib controller. And now this needs one argument in here, which is the data that we need to pass in. So all of the hotel data, so I'm just going to pass it in as an object. So we essentially need to pass in title, which is equal to title, description, which is equal to description. And what I'll do is I'll just bring in everything here. And because the key and the value are the exact same thing, we can just pass it in as the one. So title could just equal title like so. And then also description could equal description like so, because they are the same key values. So if I just paste in all of the pieces of state in here that I've got, as you can see here, and now if I save all, we should now be able to add a new hotel in here. But I want to first of all, go back into my controller.ts and the hotel data now, I now need to give it a specific type. So if I save, it implicitly has an any type, but we essentially want to specify that these are the only values that will be passed in. So all I need to do is copy this, go into my types and hotel.ts and in here, create a new interface. So export interface of add hotel type. So this is essentially the same as the new hotel type without the ID, but this time they will be required. So I'm just going to copy this minus the ID and then also delete the question marks because this is required. We can only add a hotel type or add a hotel with values in the field. So if I copy that, 
and go into my controller.ts and paste this in. And we also need to import this from our types. We can now see the, that the add hotel type is the correct type for our argument in our add hotel function. So if I save all, and we now need to test this out. So I want to add in a new hotel, and I'm going to add this in from our data.json file that I will add in to the repo. So I'm going to add in the hotel that is called Mandarin Oriental Hotel of Doha. So at the minute, we just want to double check. We have one document in our Firestore database, and we have one hotel rendering, which is the one in our database. So first off, the title is the Mandarin Hotel. So if I add that in, we got a description here. So I'll just copy and paste this in also. I'm just going to select a main feature of restaurant and bar. We have a location URL. So this is an image of the hotel. I'm going to give this one four stars. This country, the country that it is in is in Qatar. And then we have a region that I'm just going to add in also, which is in Doha, Qatar. We're going to give it a reviews so we can give it as much as we want. So I'm just going to give it, for example, 400. The price for the night is going to be 204 pounds. Sorry, the price for the night is 204. And then the total price is going to be 815. So now all being well, and I click add hotel, if we go into our create component, so this will add all of the values that we are passing into here to our document. We will also console log successfully added a new hotel and then we will navigate back to the home page. And then when we navigate back to the home page, we will fetch the data in real time as we have done before of all of the hotels in our hotels collection and then this will render out a new card for us as well so if i click add hotel as you can see we have our first card here but then we have also added our mandarin oriental doha hotel in here as well in real time also our second document has been added to our database so now we have all the information here so if i was to go back to my application now and click through to the doha hotel we now have all of the data for the doha hotel in here so that is how you would add a document to your collection with firebase